morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, Jacob. Is it raining? It's raining, huh? You guys made a mess up here, didn't you? Did you make a mess up here? You took down the covers, huh? You took off the cover of everything, huh? Did you do that this morning? You did, didn't you? Good morning, everybody. It is raining once again. Uh, hello, little girl. Are we watching the rain? All right, I'm gonna get up here and make a cup of coffee. What's going on guys? How's it going? I hope everything's going great. It is a Monday. This will be Tuesday or Wednesday video I load up. I'm not sure what day I'll load it, but I wanted to give you an update on the brakes. They're working perfect. Um, great job the kid did on my brakes. Um, he put new calipers on the front and bled all the lines and new master cylinder is working great. I'm so happy with this kid's work, uh, well, this young man's work. Uh, he's a great guy, um, and I'm, I'm lucky to have found him. He's going to be doing some other stuff on my van to make sure it's all maintained up before I hit the road at any time. Uh, um, I really plan on April is being outgoing. Uh, uh, I mean, I'm hoping so. Uh, you know, long as the funds are in place, uh, longest things are going still going good with the van and so far they are um i do have a little bit of an idle issue i uh he had me grab some of this right here it is uh called sepa and we had run some through it uh the other day and it worked really good it cleaned out the carburetor uh pretty good um but when i was uh, messing around with the van earlier it was still idling a little too low to me. Uh, so uh, he's gonna come out and uh, set the idle on the carburetor. I believe that's what he said, I can't remember. Uh, but uh, I'm gonna get, he'll come out in the next week or two. It's been raining and snowing, um, just not good weather to work outside on the vehicle. So I kind of uh, try to work around that with him. He is such a great kid, to, to a young man to work with. I keep calling him a kid, I'm sure he don't like that. Um, but uh, yes, he did the brakes and they're working great. Um, I'm so happy about that and, and so well priced. Um, I don't know. I, I've, I've really, I'm blessed uh, that I too have found him. Anyway, other stuff going on. Uh, see, Wednesday night, I got a great lineup of new channels. I mean, very new channels. I found one channel that only has six subs and uh, they found me actually. And it's a van channel, but uh, I can't wait to shout them out. Um, I remember being that, uh, being, you know, starting out and you just wanted to get those first hundred subscribers and it's so cool when you can help somebody get there. I mean, that's what we got to do guys. Just do this together. Um, let's see, uh, uh, doing good on the, uh, eating healthier stuff. Uh, been, uh, working on that, walking more. Um, so yeah, it, it's going good. Um, things I'm going to work on in the van this week. I still need to finish my ceiling. RV and Wiji brought that to my attention the other day, but I've just been so busy. And sometimes when I, uh, on my left arm, I, when I got my pacemaker, a lot of scar tissue built up around it. When I, when I hold my arm up like this for very long, it hurts. Um, so I, I just been doing it a little at a time. Um, I'm going to do it a little different this time. I wish if I would have known about this before, I would have taped, uh, put tape on the reflectix before I put it up, but I didn't know about this. Um, so yeah, see like all this right here, 
right here this is all that vinyl and it, it just it looks so good on the other side of the lights is still just the reflectix and uh, i really like that vinyl um it sticks excellent uh the heat don't bother it uh or cold either way uh so i'm quite happy with it uh, and uh and you know and and the paper the uh sticky paper that i put on over the bed area works great too uh the vinyl is just seems to be more smooth um i i really like it a lot um there comes that rain again it's raining pretty hard right now uh it, it's supposed to uh be snowing and i'm guessing that's going to turn to snow in just a little bit uh we'll see how it does <laughs> uh but uh staying warm um the kitties uh, only problem with the rain and the snow the kitties don't go outside in it and so they're up front looking out the window going like come on rain go away um but hey one of my shorts kind of took off got like three thousand or so views almost four thousand last night that was crazy um and what's crazy on those shorts it's usually on the third day it was the third night of putting that video up that little short and it hit on the third night and that one i had that had 42,000 or 41,000 views it was the third night it's so weird how that's the third night and i got quite a few subs from it i was shocked um but uh whoops there goes one of the cats looking out the back door i have the back door uh cracked open you know i and, and about this diesel heater again i love this i can have my back door wide open and it stays warm in here it's it's amazing um i do not regret this diesel heater at all uh, next video is coming up. I'm going to do one of the ceiling, what I'm working on. Also, I want to do another video of my do-it-yourself solar, or my DIY solar or hillbilly solar, whatever you want to call it. Um, uh, you know, kind of do along with the survival type series that I was doing with the van stuff. Um, um, or, you know, um, uh, not survival, but prepper type series. Um, because, you know, if you read enough, you can do a... a, a a small setup of solar yourself and I want to show you guys that on one of the videos so I'll be doing that very soon um, I mean believe me I knew nothing about solar and so what I'll do is show you the components I have exactly what I have how I how I installed it what I did um, and tell you what each piece cost so I'll do that and you know it's a good it's a good little uh, uh, prepper type uh, DIY uh, solar you could use in a cabin even you know or you could use it in a on a vehicle like this so um yeah it should be fun i'll be doing that soon um but anyway i wanted to give you guys an update on the brakes uh they do work great uh i was so happy um let's see what else is going on oh uh i uh i'm kind of glad i didn't take off down to arizona like i had planned in the beginning of january because my brakes would have went out on the road and uh, uh, there were some issues with uh, my um, uh, monitor for my pacemaker. Uh, it wasn't getting the signals out uh, right. So I, um, this week I had to call them and we reprogrammed it over the phone. And it's working great now. Uh, like I've told you guys before, I don't have to keep it plugged in all the time. But they need a reading from it once a, once a week or at least once every two weeks for a couple of nights. Um, and but uh, and it wasn't picking up because I have to check my blood pressure every day and my weight and it, it picks up th from the scales I use and from the cuff I use for my blood pressure it picks that up it wasn't picking any of that up so uh, I we got that fixed so back on the road with that uh, uh, definitely made me happy to get that worked out and you know if I would have took off to uh, Arizona not knowing that it wasn't working they might have not been I and they they actually sent me a letter in the mail telling me that it wasn't working so um uh so lucky i was here you know there's just a lot of things I'm, I'm glad i didn't take off i don't mind being here for the winter um you know it's not that bad here in southern oregon it gets cold a little bit rains a lot but you know what it don't get that cold uh i think the coldest night we've had so far is 19 here where i'm at uh this year so that's nothing um it is, uh, see, it already quit raining. It started raining when I started talking, and it quit now. Uh, crazy how it goes here. You don't like the weather, wait five minutes. <laughs> uh, anyway, so on Wednesday night at 5 p.m., uh, Van Life Rocks will be on. 
at 6 p.m. Van Vita Travels, and at 7 p.m. me. Uh, we'll be doing shout outs and a panel chat. I'll throw a link out uh, once we're done with shout outs. And uh, I'll have a panel up and we'll just shoot the shoot the breeze for a bit. Talk about our channels, whatever we want to talk about. So I hope all of you guys can be there. And next, I would like you guys to stay tuned for my channel shout out on uh, this video coming up next. And uh, I want you guys to take care of yourselves. Take care of each other and I'll see you on the next one.